team that will be uploading next Friday at 2 p.m. Before we start, just a quick reminder that if you like what you see and are interested in growing some fat, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the workouts. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comments section and we'll either respond to you directly in the comments section or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Here are the exercises. The first exercise is going to be the heel elevated dumbbell goblet squat. To perform this exercise, place your heels on an incline board approximately shoulder width apart or slightly wider than shoulder width with your feet pointing straight ahead or externally rotated up to 15 degrees. Grasp the dumbbell with a neutral grip and your palms facing the ceiling and hold the dumbbell up against your chest. The top of the dumbbell should make contact with your chest and the bottom of the dumbbell should make contact with your upper abdominals. Keep your elbows tucked in. Inhale as you lower your body by flexing the hips and knees slowly and under control until your elbows touch your thighs, keeping your weight over the middle and heel area of your foot. The middle of your knees should be in line with or slightly outside of your second toe. Be sure to maintain a neutral spine and ensure that the upper back is parallel or higher to your shins throughout the movement. Exhale as you press your feet into the ground, extending your hips and knees, and keeping your knees in line with or slightly outside of your second toe, and maintaining a neutral spine. Repeat these steps for the prescribed number of repetitions. The second exercise is going to be the seated mid-pulley narrow parallel grip row. To perform this exercise, sit on a bench facing the cable machine and plant your feet firmly on the floor, or if you're using a cable machine with a foot support, plant your feet firmly on the foot supports. Flex your hips to reach forward, and grasp the handles with a closed, neutral grip. Pull the handle back and sit in an erect, seated position with your torso perpendicular to the floor and knees flexed. Pull the handle toward your abdomen, keeping your elbows tucked in as close as possible to your body to enhance recruitment of the latissimus dorsi muscle. Inhale as you guide the handle slowly and under control until your elbows are fully extended and your arms are parallel or slightly below parallel to the ground. Make sure the weight stack is suspended in the air and not touching the remainder of the weight stack. Exhale as you pull the handle toward the abdomen, retracting your shoulder blades and pushing your chest up and out at the end of the movement. The forearms or wrists should make contact with the sides of your torso and the D-handle should touch your abdomen. Maintain the same upright posture throughout the movement. Repeat these steps for the prescribed number of repetitions. The third exercise is going to be the dumbbell bench press. To perform this exercise, plant your feet firmly on the floor, slightly behind your knees. You want to ensure that your butt remains on the bench and that you're maintaining a neutral spine throughout the entire exercise. You also want to retract your shoulder blades and pull them down towards your butt to fix the scapula and place your head firmly on the bench. Begin the movement by inhaling as you lower the dumbbells slowly and under control toward the chest. Keep the wrist stiff the forearms perpendicular to the floor, and the dumbbells in line with each other. Guide the dumbbells down and slightly out to the side of the chest, near the armpits. Without arching the low back or raising the chest, exhale as you press the dumbbells back to the starting position while keeping your head, upper back, and hips on the bench and feet on the floor. Repeat these steps for the prescribed number of repetitions. The fourth exercise is going to be the dual dumbbell Romanian deadlift. To perform this exercise, stand with your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider than shoulder width, with your feet pointing straight ahead or externally rotated up to 15 degrees. Flex your hips to bend forward and grasp the dumbbells with a closed, pronated grip. Each dumbbell should be in line with each leg. Inhale as you lower the dumbbells slowly and under control, making sure the dumbbells remain as close as possible to your thighs and shins. As the dumbbells are lowered, the hips flex and move backwards. Keep your arms straight and relaxed to allow the lower body to handle the load and keep the knees slightly flexed as the hips move backward. The shoulders should move forward and the hips move backward and remain over or slightly in front of the dumbbells. Your weight should be over the midfoot to start and, as the dumbbells are lowered, begin to move toward the heel. Lower the dumbbells until a neutral spine cannot be maintained. Once the dumbbells reach their lowest point, exhale as you extend the hips keeping the dumbbells as close as possible to your shins and thighs. Move the hips forward and the shoulders backward as the hips extend and the torso reaches a vertical position, keeping the arms straight and relaxed to allow the lower body to handle the load. 
Your weight should be over the heel to initiate the lifting phase and move toward the midfoot as you reach the top of the movement. Repeat these steps for the prescribed number of repetitions. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the workouts. And if you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section, and we'll either respond to you directly in the comment section, or answer your questions during our weekly Sunday Q&A. Keep fit, have fun, and we'll see you again next week.